everyone and welcome back to another week of my videos in London. Today is Monday morning, July 31st and it is the start of week four here in London, which is so crazy. This is technically like my last full week because we'll be here for like another 10 days or so. Um, and time has just been flying by but guys I've been having so much fun the past few weeks and if you haven't seen the first second and third videos that I uploaded be sure you go watch those I'll put links to all of them down below so today is Monday like I said and today I am taking a field trip to Dover in Canterbury with um, two of my classes we're going there and I'm not really sure what we're doing but I have a lot of homework that I need to get done, so that's probably what I'm gonna be working on, like, on the bus right there. We are in Canterbury right now, and we were about to take a tour of the cathedral of Canterbury, which is right here. It's kind of under construction, it seems, but it's very pretty. lunch and now we are walking around a little shopping area in Canterbury. Um, we're gonna go to a candy shop and I also really want to go to <laughs> um, <laughs> I also want to go to Kat Kitson and Jack Wills because those are two like well-known British stores so that's where we're headed now. This is like the Abercrombie and Fitch of Britain I believe. Also look how cute the wall is. Wow! It looks like my freshman year dorm room. Now we're in Kath Kitson, which everyone has told me would be like my favorite store and everything in here is so cute. They have all these cute printed things and wow. I'm gonna win a luxury skate course. Ah, <gasps> cool. Wow, it's so cute. Now we are in Dover. We're about to go see a castle, which is way up there on that hill. Over the castle on the hill. We just climbed up to the top of the Dover Castle. food withdrawals so to help with that we are going to McDonald's currently to work on homework and eat so we're knocking out two birds with one stone here also I've heard the McDonald's are better here so I'll let you guys know so update the lines were crazy and it was so crowded in here but the food was pretty good better than American I would say so it's Tuesday now I'm a little bit sick as you can probably tell um, I've had a cold the past couple days and I woke up and it was just a lot worse today, which stinks, but it's okay. I will push through it. Um, today I just have class. Um, we actually have a presentation, like a final project to do in our first class, and so my group is up pretty early because we need to go somewhere and work on finishing that. And then I also have another class um, until 4.30. So, I will talk to you guys later today after I get back from my classes. Um, it's later now after class. Had a good old day of classes and we are getting ready to go to the Globe Theater, which is like Shakespeare's Globe Theater where he first performed and everything like that, um, or where his works were performed. So, that's really cool. We're getting ready to go somewhere for dinner and then go to the Globe after that. but. The only thing is we have to stand up the whole time at the Globe, like that's what the seating is like where we are. Um, so I'm not going to bring this camera, but if I'm allowed to film in there, I will film stuff on my phone. We are going into Shakespeare's Globe. <laughs> this is cool in here. We're off to a good start because there are colorful twinkly lights, so that's two of my favorite things already. What's up? Did you get your email? I like your okay. 
How was the first half, guys? Hilarious. So good. So good. Yeah, I liked it too. A plus. A plus plus. It is Wednesday now, I think. Um, all of the days are starting to run together, but I'm pretty sure today is Wednesday. Um, I'm about to head out to a class, and then uh, that's my first class, like my literature class, and then my second class, my media class, we have a field trip again, and today we're going to the Harry Potter Studios, which is going to be really interesting. I'm not like the biggest Harry Potter fan in the world, but I have seen some of the movies, and so I think it's going to be really cool. Here we are! This place is huge! Oh my gosh! photo booths. We're gonna go take a picture over there. Like, can you guys see how big this is, like, compared to those people, but also how small and intricate it is? This is amazing. Timer is done. Oh, I was like, who is that? <laughs> Time to go pick up the laundry downstairs. Harry Potter was super cool. I'm back in the apartment now. We picked up some Nando's chicken for dinner, and um, currently eating that, and I'm also going to write some postcards because I've been picking up a bunch of postcards everywhere and I want to write them to like my friends and family. So I need to write those. I'm eating dinner and about to go do laundry and then we're going to see Dunkirk tonight. So I'm super pumped for that. So it's Thursday now and today we are taking a day trip, um, like a day field trip, day long field trip to Cambridge and we're going there with my literature class. So we're going to be walking around some of the colleges there and talking some about C.S. Lewis and J.R. Tolkien, so that's where I am headed out to now. Also, I think I just stepped in poop. That's great. You yeah. guys, we're having a tea party. We're, we are having a tea party. We're having a tea party out in an orchard. We're surrounded by apple trees right now, and I got some cake. It's rainbow sparkle, and I'm gonna pour myself some tea. <gasps> Thanks, you're the best. I'll probably use all of them. Here it goes. Let's see if I can film this and pour it. Heck yeah. Oh, guys, there's Wi Fi. This place is great. It's everywhere. I'm like, oh, we should Mmm, delicious. It's currently like two in the morning and the only reason that I'm awake is because we are headed to Barcelona today, which I'm really excited for. Basically, our plane leaves at 6.45 a.m. today and we have to get there a couple hours before and we have to take a train to get to the airport, which takes an hour. So we're leaving our apartment at 2.30 to make it to the train and get to the airport on time, but I'm still super excited, so 
Next stop is Barcelona. We just made it into Barcelona. It is about 10.30 in the morning. We are trying to find our Airbnb apartment. It's very pretty here. We just made it into our Airbnb. It has no AC, but that's okay. <laughs> so this is our tiny little room, but it's cute and homey. And let's see what's out the door. Show me, Erica. Yeah, Show me. Erica. Wow. Right alleyway. Oh, um, beautiful. It's cool. Oh, people. We are about to head to the beach for the day. So we just walked to the beach and we made it. We are at Nova Icari, Cara, something like that. And it's beautiful. We're about to walk to this little pier and grab some lunch. So there's the beach over there. So pretty. We're gonna get an umbrella and some towels later. I think we're gonna eat lunch in this little restaurant. And there's also a little port over here. And there are tons and tons of boats. We got some dinner on the beach. Yeah, we're eating dinner out in this little beach restaurant. We've had a great beach afternoon so far. We love it here. We are saying goodbye to a beautiful beach day in Barcelona. We're headed back to the Airbnb to hopefully get a good night's sleep. And then tomorrow we have lots of fun stuff planned. So yay! This morning we are heading out to meet up with some of our friends. We're going to like city center, like somewhere that has shopping. We are doing some shopping out in La Rambla, which is like this little marketplace. Um, I just got a cute little decoration and yeah, there are just all sorts of little stands like this. Super cute. We found some crazy street performers. This is amazing! <gasps> Look at him go! Oh my god. Got some giant paella. A lot of it too. Don't know if we're gonna eat all this. I don't know if I can pull it off yet. We came to see a famous home called the Casa Batayo Gaudi. And it's beautiful. The architecture is crazy. It's like covered in tiles and it's so colorful and pretty. We're now walking through La Boqueria which is a really well-known food market here, and it's like similar to Borough Market in London. Look at all the fruit, oh my goodness. So colorful, that is so cool. Our last stop is today is taking a tour of the Sagrada Familia, which is a huge cathedral here, and we just made it, and it's so big. We haven't even been inside yet, but this is the outside. It's huge. And it's also under construction, it seems. I have decided that this is the most beautiful building I have ever been in in my life. <laughs> and the sun is shining through these windows and it's absolutely gorgeous. Like, look at this. Crazy. We walked out to a little pier on the beach and we have a beautiful view of the coast um, at night. It's so pretty. It's our last morning in Barcelona and we're at breakfast. Ooh, everybody say hi. Hello.
last activity in Barcelona. We are visiting Park Well, which so far is very beautiful. It's very, very hot though. This is the little entrance. Sure. much later now and we are in the Barcelona airport trying to get back to London. Originally our flight was supposed to leave at 9.25. We got to the airport at like 3.30, so like six hours early because we wanted to do some homework. Then our flight got delayed until like 11.30 and then it just got delayed until 1.30 and so... 1.55. 2 a.m. <laughs> Gosh, so we're not gonna get back to our apartments until like 5.30 in the morning probably. Um, also my debit card got hacked, so that was great. Um, <laughs> love hackers. It could be worse, it could be canceled. You're right, at least it wasn't canceled. We're, st uh, we're still here. Well, on one. Touch wood. <laughs> I don't know, I don't see anyone. <laughs> Prayers, okay bye. So it's Monday now and I made it back to London, yay! And now I'm getting ready to walk over to campus because um, we have a class this afternoon. So we're just gonna go and grab some lunch there before class and then go to class. And then tonight, really, we have a paper due tomorrow. We had one due today, I finished that in the airport yesterday, but have another paper due tomorrow. And tonight, I think we're all just basically gonna be working on that because I, haven't started the paper so um, that's what I've got to do tonight so today's probably gonna be a pretty boring day just class and homework so we're taking a little lunch break after our first class and we just came to Covent Garden and we came to this cute little courtyard called Neil's yard I think um, or like it's a courtyard near the store Neil's yard and it's so cute look at those colorful buildings back there and Andrea and Sarah this is really good lighting right here um, which I looked Ooh, cute so I can take a picture take but a picture. And now we are going to this cute place called the Crown and Acre for lunch. Look at all the flowers outside of it. I'm obsessed. So we just ran to this ice cream place because they're they're closing soon. But look at this. It's called the Milk Train. Oh, I gotta get out of the way. There's cotton candy around it. I need to eat it now because it's melting, but I'm so excited about this. I'm literally sweating because we ran here. So we're out here by the River Thames. I'm with Andrea and Holly. It's our second to last night. I'm so sad. And we're just reminiscing on all of the memories we have made. And we're admiring the pretty city. Good morning, everyone. It is my very last day in London, which is crazy. Today is August or 9th. Wait, yeah, it's August 9th because we leave on August 10th tomorrow morning. Um, so I'm currently out to breakfast with Sarah. We made it over to like the Notting Hill area, which is so cute. And we're at this really cute cafe, and we're about to get the coolest drinks ever. So just wait, I'll update you guys. But we have a lot of stuff that we want to mark off of our um, like London bucket list today because obviously it's our last day. We have to do a lot of stuff. So we've got we've got a busy day planned, but it's gonna be fun. I got a hot chocolate with a French bulldog in it. Oh my gosh. This is the cutest thing I've ever seen in my life. Now we are out shopping at the Portobello Market. Ooh, can we go in here? I need to look at some cute socks. Um, it's raining, but super cute out here. There are lots of fun shops that we're going into. So we walked over to this restaurant called the Church Alarms. You can see it under my umbrella. It's covered in flowers. It's beautiful, and we're taking a lot of pictures of it because we love flowers. Now we are headed to go see the Tower of London, which I don't really know that much about, but I do know that that's where the crown jewels are. So we get to see all of the shiny jewels. So this is the Tower of London. Not what I was expecting, but it's kind of cool. We are out to our last group dinner. Um, we're at this good Greek restaurant. I'm sitting by Holly and our advisor, and this is what my food looks like for our last event. This is a great angle. We are at a play, another one, to see to see the girl from the North Country. I can't take a video of the set, but this is a video of us, which is even better. Hi guys, so it's later on now, and we went to the show, which was super fun and interesting. Um, it was a good show. It was called uh, 
the girl from the North Country. The music in it was really great as well. Um, and then the girls in my apartment, we just kind of came back and hung out here and we've been like singing songs and having a dance party and just like hanging out, kind of reminiscing on the whole trip and taking in our last moments together because we are leaving in less than five hours. So that is crazy. Um, we have to get up and leave at 5 a.m. tomorrow morning and I'm really sad about it. Like I'm so excited to go home and see my family and my dogs and be back in America and like just be at home but I'm also so sad because this has been one of the best experiences of my life. Truly studying abroad has been so amazing and I'm so glad that I decided to come on this trip and I'm so grateful that I was able to come on this and I have truly just had such an amazing time. And thank you guys for coming along with me and watching these videos. I hope that you guys enjoyed kind of getting to see what I've been up to and sort of feel like you get to come along and study abroad with me. I definitely want to film a study abroad advice video and maybe like a Q&A before I go back to school. So if you guys would be interested in that, let me know because I do start school on like August 23rd or something like that. So I will be going back to college in like two weeks from now, which is crazy. But yeah, so basically I'm just gonna keep packing up tonight. Who knows if I'll actually get to sleep any. I'm not sure, that's okay, I'll just sleep on the airplane tomorrow. But again, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope y'all enjoyed these videos. Um, I have loved being in London so much and hopefully I will get to come back soon one day again. I love y'all and I will talk to you in another video in America next time. Bye.